Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learnt about arithmetic progression and its components. Today, we will see some examples based on this. Which of the lists given below is an AP? Can you tell? How to find this? We learned in the previous video that in an AP, except for the first term, each term is found by adding a certain number, that is, the common difference D to its previous term. Therefore, the list in which any two consecutive terms will have the same difference will be an AP. If we look at the first, the second and the third list here, for each of them, we get the same difference between every two consecutive terms. Hence, these three lists are an AP where the first and the third are finite APs and the second is an infinite AP. On the other hand, because the difference between every two consecutive terms in the fourth list is not the same, hence it is not an AP. Let's look at one more example. Rahul walks 3 kilometers on Monday and increases the distance covered in this way till Friday by 2 kilometers every day. Can you write a list for the distance travelled by Rahul? every day. As per the question, Rahul travels a distance of 3 kilometers on Monday. Because he increases the distance travelled by 2 kilometers every day, the distance travelled by Rahul on Tuesday would be 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 kilometers. Thus, the distance travelled each day can be found by adding 2 to the distance of the previous day. What do you notice when you look at this list? This is also an arithmetic progression because here each term except the first term is obtained by adding a certain number to every term. And the number of terms in this series is fixed, hence this is a finite AP. Today, in this video, we saw some examples based on AP. In the next video, we will see what kind of mistakes one commits while solving these types of questions.